These are the radio men of the Navy. Whether it be PT boat or landing barge, submarine or super dreadnought, the radio man is aboard on duty. Specially trained, highly skilled, he is the mouthpiece of his commanding officer, his right hand. Without him, the ship is crippled. The fleet is paralyzed. This represents NSS, Central Radio Shack in Washington, D.C. It is the Navy's nerve center. From here emanate important orders and instructions that are transmitted often thousands of miles to affect the maneuvers and activities of ships and men fighting on our far-flung battle lines. Let us follow the course of this message. First, from Washington to San Francisco. From San Francisco to Hawaii. Hawaii to Guadalcanal. Guadalcanal to the flagship of a task force. Message for you, sir. Send this message to the task force. Aye, sir. A short time later, 10,000 miles away from point of origin, those orders were executed. Responsible for correct transmission of that message was the skill of the radio man. Let's take a look at what goes into the training of a radio man. These are the first steps in learning international Morse code. Queen. Yoke, Peter, Charlie. This class is practicing sending in rhythm. Colleges and schools throughout the country have turned over their facilities and instructors to train men in the service. This class is studying theory which includes practical experimentation as well. In this classroom, the radio men are being taught procedure. This essential subject is concerned with the form and routing of messages. The radio man must be ready to make minor repairs in any emergency. He must know how to tune his transmitter to various frequencies. And, of course, learning to type correctly is highly important in the training of the radio man. 
Here we find a more advanced class practicing sending. In this classroom, the students have now advanced to the point where they are receiving code on their typewriters. The code is transmitted by the tape machine. After preliminary training, the advanced students work in the radio shack, where code sending, receiving, typing, theory, and procedure are all coordinated to simulate actual conditions aboard ship. There, the instructor assumes the duties of the radio man on a division flagship. He is sending out orders to the rest of the division. Each of these men represents a ship in a division. They are standing regular radio watch. There are no caps and gowns, but it's graduation day for those students who have successfully completed their training. Vision. Pearson. Congratulations, Pearson. Thank you. Bernalli. Fine work, Bernalli. Thank you, sir. After many weeks of work and constant practice, this first goal upon which they have set their sights has come to be a reality. Radio Man Third Class. And now they're off to what every land-based sailor dreams of, active duty. security of the Navy, vital to the maintenance of its communications, vital to its effectiveness as a formidable striking power that will bring us to final victory are these men who have earned the respect of both their officers and their shipmates. They are the radio men, the nerves of the Navy.